Hello y'all, welcome back to the ministry, this is Taj McCameron, and today I'm doing a bit of a review of the movie How Stella Got Her Groove Back, and um, the Lord was kind of showing me something. I did a mini review of this movie before some points that I pulled out, if I can remember to, I will link that part in the comments below but um what the lord brought my attention to this time is that he wanted me to focus on the scenarios of each individual situation that stella was in but it may be your case because you may either be the older woman that is going to end up dating a young or marrying a younger man. Or it may be vice versa for you. Where it will be you being in a relationship with an older man and you're the younger woman. Okay? And we're looking at the dynamic of the shift in that. Okay? So let's think about the way that this movie began stella was a woman that was a go-getter she was a workaholic she wasn't going nowhere she was that kind of person that she wasn't a person that you called if you wanted to have fun with because she was the one that she never went nowhere she always was at work she always was doing what it is that she had because she had to make sure that she kept her house in order she had to take care of her son all of this and she was like the top person at her company because she was just that much of a workaholic okay so some of your god ordained spouses and this may also be you y'all workaholics when you get in your grind mode you don't come out of it you don't just be sitting there saying I'm gonna come out my grind mode I'm gonna go have fun when you're in it you're in it you understand what I'm saying hope that didn't bother you but when you're in your grind mode you're in it right so you don't come out of that once you've made the decision to go into that space for some of your men that's the case they are they when they go into their work focus they in their work focus they don't come out their work focus until they're ready to play okay they will not be distracted they will not be deterred they will not because they understand the focus is necessary for what it is that they have to do so they ain't moving now here's a catch-22 to that as a child of God when you're walking with God you have to have the understanding that the enemy will use your very own pride in your work to prevent you from moving forward towards what God wants you to do because he will keep you busy because you enjoy being busy and God's like, I need you to rest. It, raise your hands, my females, that whenever you're in a grind, you hate sitting down and resting. You, the idea of sitting still in the house, not moving, not putting your hands to work when work ain't finished, drives you crazy. Raise your hand. Oh, I just want to make sure I was, I was testing engage in my audience okay cool next so Stella she go home and she sitting there and she's sitting there having a fantasy as she watches a commercial you know for them trips that come across your TV screen you seen them they still do them to this day come on come to our beautiful resort island you know sandals you know all of them commercials you know the commercials well for her in this film it was Jamaica it was Jamaica 
Some of you, they couldn't pay you to take a vacation. <laughs> if you had it, you probably wouldn't go. Because it's like, what am I going to do there besides sit? Some of y'all can afford to go and you do go. Some of y'all can't afford to go. You'd like to go, but you're just not going. Because you can't afford to go in this season. Now let's talk about your God ordained spouses. You got a dang spouses. Some of them, they do go on vacation. Like I said, when they outside their work mode, they're willing to go on vacation. When they play, they play hard. Mm -hmm. They'll go on vacation in a minute as soon as they're done with their grind. And some of them will go on vacation in the middle of their grind because they got a couple of days space that they can get. A quick vacation in there so she sees this commercial and she imagines herself as the female in this commercial on the vacation and she gets excited and turns on her music and calls her best friend who is Whoopi Goldberg and says Come on, girl, let's go on vacation. Let's go to Jamaica together. And her best friend says, let's do it. And then she calls. See what she did? When well, she called her and her friend didn't answer. And she told her that that's what she wanted to do. Her friend didn't answer the phone. And then she called her back because she got the idea. I got too much day on work to do. I am not going on vacation. Forget the fact that I just had a moment of stupidity. Ignore me. Her friend calls her back and says, girl, shut up. You're going on vacation. I'm going with you, and we're going to have some good fun time. Some, some of you, some of you all that ain't spouses, they need a little bit of coaxing to get on a vacation. For a man, it's not that hard. For a man, nine times out of ten, the easiest way to coax a man to go on vacation is a woman. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say it. That's more than likely. <laughs> Yeah. A man will go on vacation with a woman in a minute. Because you know what he's going to get when he go on vacation with a woman. Some of you go to Dane's spouses. For the time frame, I'm talking to my ladies that was in waiting. Y'all was in the waiting. Y'all was, you was in there. And the Lord told you years ago. That's your husband. And you're like, why is it taking him so long? Because he was on vacation with the counterfeit a few times. And he was running from the fact that God kept telling him, that ain't the one. <laughs> so he was biding this time. Going on vacation with some of them. Because he could. He had made enough money that he could do that when he wanted to. <laughs> and some, some during that season of his life, he may have been going on different vacations with different women each time he went on vacation. God had to work on that. That's why y'all wasn't together. Okay? <laughs> Just as a note. So, let's move to the next phase of the film. Stella gets to Jamaica. She's breathing in the new Jamaica air. It's like brand new. She got her hair in braids. She's like, I'm in my diva mode. This is like amazing. I'm going to have myself a good old time. Her and her friend get settled in having a good girlfriendly time. Now, your god dang spouse some of you got a dang spouses got it like this that when it comes down to it, they got a timeshare or they go on vacation in a group. So maybe them, they got friends, they girlfriends, all of them go together on certain vacations. Maybe it's siblings. Maybe it's what have you as a group vacation. They do that periodically too. 
in order to spend time with their siblings and so on and so forth in a way that they would not have done it before. So they'll do it like that. And then they'll bring their girlfriend with them. And depending on what status that this guy is in, it diverts attention because some of these men are high class men that the Lord is sending into the lives of people and you know this this part ain't for everybody you know what the Lord is saying so they spend time on vacation on occasion with friends and family so she arrives there and she's like okay let us go tomorrow morning and let's so that's the case and with that being the case um she ends up taking her friend for a run the next morning so on and so forth so when she goes to breakfast she sees the young man and the young man has spotted her and he's watching let's just be honest if the Lord has had you in this walk with your God-ordained spouse or for your God-ordained spouse, he already showed you who your man was. He already been showed you who your man was. And some of y'all been peeping. <laughs> this man was watching her from a distance. You've been watching them from a distance. He was like, oh, is that my guy? And God keeps giving you reference. You're like, God, you sure, that, that, you sure that's my guy? Are you sure that's my guy? Are you sure that's my guy? And you kind of was like in this area where you kind of, not so much that you was making an effort to make it as so that they would have attention on you, but in such a way that you may have crossed paths with them in a way. Not trying, because this is what we do. We kind of gauge. It's like, is, is there temperature here? It, are they interested are they engaging me do they have any interest here and they may not I mean some of them they just straight ghost you <laughs> especially early on because of the fact that God may be saying yeah that's the guy but and you're like checking the temperature and God's like not this season <laughs> but sometimes he don't tell you not this season and you be gauging the temperature and you be like it's cold over here it's cold. He, he not paying no attention. For one, um, they have to be the pursuer, and God's got to show them, and He may show you before He shows them. He may show you before He shows them. Okay. So, you want me to go into that now? Um. She's sitting there, and he comes and he sits at the table with her. And she's a little put off by the fact, like, how, how you just gonna come walk and sit next to me like that? What, what you think you gonna do? What, what you think? <laughs> what you be thinking this is? <laughs> and some of y'all, stop lying. You know that you would, if the Lord allowed it, you would have went. You'd have been went over if the Lord showed you that man and because you are just a go-getter type woman you would went over to where he was you would found a way to find an access point because that's just who you are ain't nobody gonna tell me <laughs> if you're saying that's who it is guess what that's where i'm going <laughs> and god's like nah one he gotta have the strength the security and the boldness to come to you because he's actually used to women coming to him. So you come to him and he's not going to see you. Let me just make that clear. He wasn't going to see you if he came to him. Cute as it might have been. He wasn't going to see you if he came to him. Because some of us, we just bold like that. You taking too long, bro. Let me, let me help you out. <laughs> And let me give you a warning from a female that has been in situation. My previous relationship, I approached the guy. My previous relationship, I 
initiated conversation. The previous relationship, I got involved with him. The previous relationship, I ran the whole relationship because he didn't want to. I spent seven years in confusion because uh, I was the one in control of that relationship, not him. And when he decided to dictate and take control of that relationship, we no longer worked. So, if you want a man that you can submit to, you gotta wait for that man to come to the point where he is strong in his character and he's going to come to you like a man in the fullness of his strength, in the fullness of being a man, and come to you. But this man, Winston, he came and he sat next to her. And she looking like, what are you doing? She had herself a good plate of breakfast with her vegetables. I mean, not her vegetables, her fruits and her, um, I don't remember, recall that she had eggs or whatever on the, on the plate. And he talking to her and he's just initiating his conversation with her boldly. And she's like, boy, stop playing. I'm like, I could be your mama. <laughs> and for, for some of the men, let's go here. What is the name of that scripture? Oh, I know the scripture. It's on the tip of my tongue. Let's just let's just go from this place, this position. Remember when Boaz, okay? Remember when Ruth went and laid her skirt at Boaz's feet. And then Boaz woke up and he saw her. And he said, you did not pursue another man because Boaz was older than her. Remember? And because Boaz was older than her, it was, uh, he took that into account, the fact that she approached him the way that she did for the proposal in which she was bringing to his knowledge. some of you the man is older he's established because god as according to luke 7 and 27 god will send a messenger before you the man that the lord is going to send you into your life is going to be a man that's already established in the field you're called to or He's right in alignment, meaning he has the proper positioning to position you where you're supposed to be. Okay? So that when you two become partners, it's going to be easier when the Lord wants to use him to align you to where you're supposed to be. Y'all might be in a similar field. Remember? Ruth and Boaz. Ruth was gleaning in the field. Meaning she was in association to the field that he was in. Look at this business wise. You are associated to the field that your husband is in. For my women. The young man that is supposed to come into your life is associated to the field that you're in. I'll give you an example. There's a young woman named Shameless Maya. She's in her 40s now, but her husband is in his 20s. Okay? But he does all of her editing work for her video content. He does all of her, um, like the background work graphics so on and so forth anything that she needs help with in that element but she's the face of uh her channel but she and him combined and merged their content into one channel once they got married okay so there's an association between you and your spouse Whatever gifts and talents God has placed in you, your God-ordained spouse is either in the same field or the gifts and talents that he has 
is going to cause your gifts and talents to flourish when you come together. You understand? And because of that, he had to be ahead of you. That's why he older. He had to be ahead of you because he had to get the lay of the land, the industry, the place, the space you're called to. So that when he comes in with you, he'll be able to better explain to you the territory you're walking into. Whether it's you're staying in the same field that you were working in, he's just helping you establish and expound in those areas. Or that you're called to be a part of his field, meaning he's going to help you understand how you can use your skills and abilities in the areas that God has called you to, that he's had you in your season of isolation working on, to expound the levels and areas that he's going to call you in alongside your spouse. You understand what I'm saying? So, she's sitting there like, okay. And she separates herself from him. She's like, this boy is playing. He don't know what he's doing. And some of you God ordained spouses have felt like that. God has highlighted you. Don't get it twisted. For those of you that the Lord has told you, he already knows who you are. He's given you multiple confirmation. He's even given you confirmation. This dude be thinking about you. And he ain't said not one word to you. It's because he's been trying to figure out, just like she was, God, you playing. That's the one? For real? You saying that that's, that's the one that's for me? She's so young. Oh, she's much younger than I am. Why is it? Or, vice versa the case, it's not that she's your youth that's bothering them. It's your boldness that's bothering them. And they don't have it, though they might ha appear that they do. <laughs> So your boldness kind of scare them a little bit. Just a little bit. And vice versa. Because you are the older woman. You already got your boldness on fleek and on lock. And you looking at this young man like she was. Boy stop playing. I am older than you. Don't even mess with me. So she go back to her friend. And her friend went and got two old coon looking dudes. <laughs> And said, hey, girl, let's go to the... You got a dang spouse has had guy friends that believe that the chicks that they pick would be an interest to your God a dang spouse because of his status or position and because they look good in a dress. <laughs> Maybe they got big boobs, big butts, and they got the long Brazilian hair. <laughs> and the guys be sitting up there talking about, she look good, don't she? She look good, don't she? But God has matured these men up to a point. They finally caught up with the age. Cause let, me, let, me, let me pause right here as I talk about the men. Okay? For some men, okay, men do not mature in mental capacity until they get older we as women we may be at 16 to the capacity of a 16 year old a man still ain't got there so when they get 18 21 they're still at the 16 year old's brain when they get to 30 they might be at the 20 year old's brain when they get to 40 they might have hit the 30 year old's brain 50 the 35 to 40 year old brain but they brain ain't caught up with their age yet okay and because of that we as women we'll be in our 30s 36 37 and some might say, how can that dude be hooked up with her? He he and his such and such ages. He 10, 15 years older than her. Because 
the way that their brain operates, they are literally just got there. They just got to 36 <laughs> in the way that their brain functions. Is the truth. But we as women, our intellect and the way that we take in information, we'll be at 36 or 36. <laughs> Let me just put that there. So, with that being said, she looking at these two dudes like, she look, for one, she looking at her friend like, what did, what did you go and do? And these two dudes sitting up there, hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> she done got two old fogies. They, they probably in their mid 40s or early 50s. She, her friend got the older one, which is it. he just looking and she like, don't he look nice? And you sit, and she sitting there like, what? Girl, bye. So I'm sure these men, they friends be trying to hook them up with people that ain't got no brains. And they, they're kind of tired of it. they kind of over that phase. They're tired of talking to people, having conversations with people. They get to a certain point in the level of maturity of a man that when the Lord desires to mature them, they're going to get tired of that. They need more than just the body, the bust, and the Brazilian hair. They need to be able to have an intellectual conversation and they need to be thinking about what a family is going to look like for their legacy. Because these chicks that's got the Brazilian butt lift and the hair, they ain't thinking about that. They just want to be associated with you for your status, your money, your this. Or maybe you just look good and you would look they would look good on dude's arm. So that's why they there. And these guys have gotten to a point that it takes them about five to fifty five to ten minutes to figure out this chick ain't ain't got no brains. If I want anything from her, it's gonna be her body, that's it. I was listening to uh dear the dear the dear wifey podcast and uh that old football player Barnett was on there and he said I can figure out in five minutes what a woman wants for me the second that she approaches me. I know exactly what she wants. I know exactly what compartment to put her in because of that. Okay. So it come out that um they sitting there and she knew she didn't want that guy she knew she didn't want need, need none of them guys and she entertains her friend entertaining the guys but she's like ah. so and she sees Winston again but she don't tell her friend about him. And when she sees Winston again, he invites her to the pajama thing. Now, her friend knew about the pajama thing, asked her about it. She said, no, I ain't going. Because she didn't want to go with her and those two dudes. But when Winston asked her, she said, all right, I'll come. I'll come. For some of your God of day spouses, it's almost like it takes a little bit of coaxing to get them to get initiate conversation and communication and coming towards you and stuff like that. And that's that's not your part to do. Uh uh-uh, uh. It ain't you. That's God's part to do. God's doing that. Because he's initiating the conversation. He's initiating the direction. He's initiating. You don't do that. God does that. Um, but with that being said, she ends up getting herself together and she goes to the pajama party. And 
she shows up and she waits and here he come here comes Winston and she enjoy, she starts to enjoy herself she dances with him and so on and so forth and then her girlfriend shows up with the two guys because she actually showed up with both of them and her friends is spying you can literally watch her friend sitting up there like what the heck is she doing with this dude who that young buck who they you hanging out with a youngin <laughs> what you doing <laughs> for real <laughs> but what ends up happening is see if your god or your spouse was known to having a certain reputation with women more than likely if they friends spot out or spot out that he's interested in somebody like you especially if they see you and you well put together at the time that they see you they probably would think oh she young and you at this age and she young you going through a midlife crisis oh okay you in your midlife crisis phase so because you in your midlife crisis phase that's explainable you gonna hit that and quit that okay I got that but God's saying no <laughs> that is the one and that's the one I'm calling you to connect with and they're like for some of them, that's the reason why it took them so long. Because they were sitting up there. They've been watching you like a hawk. Because they're like, she's younger and she bold and she this and she that. And for my females, you've been looking at the younger man like, he young, he inexperienced. I remember, a lot of you not, there was a point in time I went out to a business event. And this young guy. Who just so happened to look like the man that the Lord ended up telling me was my God or dang spouse. He looked exactly like him. When I say he looked exactly like him, he looked exactly like him. And that's how the Lord revealed who my God or dang spouse was. By showing me this guy. And we were sitting there talking this one particular night. And I'm already at this point. I think I was almost 30 years old at this point. But young boy here is about 26, 27 and we talking and he's like oh i just graduated from this college and this that and the other and i'm sitting there listening to what he had to say and he real good at what he had to say but i knew he wasn't wet behind the ears and he wasn't ready for the type of relationship i was looking for i'm gonna pause here and come back in the next video Bye bye